Hi, my name is Pete Sampson. I'm the owner and creator of My Music Office, the best way to organize your music program online. In this video, I'll be going taking a detailed look at the communication area. So here on the main menu, I'm going to scroll down to communication and click on the icon to enter. You notice at the top the menu system of send single email, send group email, send single text, send group text, purchase text credits, and email account update will be with you anywhere inside the communication area. Below that, you will find one area dedicated to email and the other to text messaging. Emailing is completely unlimited in my music office. You can send as many emails as you want. Text messaging, we give you a thousand free credits, and then if you need additional credits, you can purchase them for as inexpensive as two cents a piece. The four choices here in the email section of send an email to a single recipient, send an email to multiple recipients, manage previously sent email messages, and email student financial account information give you all the choices for emailing. If I'm going to send a single email, I can click here, and then you'll see where I can select the email address. You'll notice students are listed, and any guardians are listed with dashes to indent them, so you can see uh, who they belong to, and at the end, in parentheses, is the name of the student in which they are attached. And so you can go down and choose the email in which you would like to send, the email address to which you would like to send. The reply to name and email address are automatically filled out, but you can change those if you wish email subject, and you can send it CC to one person in the email address if you wish. So I can go down here and type in an email address if I wanted to. Below, I can create the, e I can create the actual email here in this HTML text editor. You can actually create it here just like you would in Microsoft Word, or you can actually go to the source. If you are familiar with um, HTML editing, you can actually paste in HTML code there if you wish there as, as well. Okay, my suggestion is that you please text, uh, type your, your message in to a text editor and then copy and paste it in so you're not sitting here on the screen for too long so you don't run the risk of having the safety timeout on you. You can then attach an attachment smaller than five megabytes to any email. Only a single attachment is available at this time, so if you need to combine things into a single PDF, I would suggest that you do so. You can always, of course, put links inside your email address to, uh, you know, shared links on Google Drive, Dropbox, or even just web, pa web pages if necessary. After you are done, you simply click on send email message and you're through. To send a group email, first you have to choose your recipients. So down here you have four choices. Choose students, which then lists all the students in the system. Once again, for this demonstration account, we only have seven students in the system, but overall, the system can hold as many students as you wish, hundreds, of, hundreds and hundreds of necessary. You can choose parents and guardians. Once again, same thing where you see the parent name, the student name in which they're attached to, and the email address you're gonna be sending it to. All students and parents where that list is combined. And then the bottom choice, the most popular choice, is by ensemble. And so here you can either choose students, parents, or both student and parent email addresses, and then any of the ensembles that currently have students attached. Notice there's only three ensembles shown here because only three ensembles have students actually assigned to them on this account. It doesn't show you all the options to be able to fish through, only the ones that in email would actually happen. So I can choose parents of my marching band, hit continue, it constructs the list to be sent, and then it'll give you that same text editor you saw before, where you can choose your reply to name, email address, and then the email message subject, a CC if you wish, construct your, construct your message, and then add an attachment if you wish as well. And then it'll send to all the email addresses you chose. I'm gonna go back to the main menu of the um, communication area to show you this next feature, which is a really great feature called manage Pre previously sent email messages. So when I click here, I can actually view all of the messages that have been sent from my account. You notice the drop down menu right here shows you how you can actually view general email messages, financial email messages, or all email addresses at the same time. General messages are ones that are not sent out through the account update or financial area and contain just regular information. Financial uh, emails would actually show uh, either uh, financial account statements or the account update uh, notifications. Since not everyone wants to see all of those, and there'd be a lot of those since you send those out to individuals, we decided to filter those here, and I think that's the easiest way to, to deal with those emails. Once again, just like in other list formats, you have the number of items shown on per page, and then in the which page you're on, on both the top and bottom on the right side. You have a check mark over here where you can do a multiple delete. 
and then you can view uh, the, the actual email you sent, the report, or delete that email from your system. So if I go here to view, it will actually show this email that I sent. It was a very short test email that said this test message is to demonstrate the great email system in my music office. Down at the bottom, you will notice that this is the tag that's put on all emails. Um, this message was sent from the high school, the account of whatever your school name is. Please send all replies to the name you put in and then the reply to email address. All emails from my music office come from messaging at mymusicoffice.com. So that way somebody can put them through their spam filter and whitelist them with a lot with greater ease. We also found that using people, allowing people to use their own email addresses caused spam filters to uh, block most of the emails sent from the system. So this is the best way to have your emails delivered. You'll also notice there is an unsubscribe link at the bottom of all the emails as well, which is required by law for any sort of mass emailing. So, so uh, parents can go and unsubscribe. And if they do that, they will no longer be able to uh, get the emails. They, they will be blocked and they will not be sent. There's also the, the delivery report, which you can view from right here or from the other listing. And this shows you the name and date of the, of the, the, the subject of the message uh, when it was sent. And then it will also show you the emails that the emails it was delivered to the amount of people that opened it, and if any failed. So that way, if, uh, if a parent calls, uh, gives you a, a contact and says, I'm sorry, I never received that email, you could actually go in here and look to see if that email failed for some reason, and we can look up uh, as to the reason why maybe it was a mistyped address or it was caught in their spam filter. If it's caught in their spam filter, it won't show as failed, it will show as delivered. Don't rely too much on the email to open because a lot of email programs will automatically open an email when previewing. And so you can't really count on that as being like they actually read the email. It just means that it was received and previewed at least or perhaps opened. Okay. If an email address is not correct, as it says here, but the, uh, but, the email was not but the email was still not delivered, they can actually click on this link right here, which is a customized link that will allow them to go on to, allow you to go on to um, the uh, site for the, the email program that we use and be able to try to get that person whitelisted. What will happen is they will send them an email and then they have to reply to that email or follow the instructions in order to get back on the list. But this is a great way of making sure that you can uh, kind of keep track of who did receive and do not receive or who uh, opened your emails and be able to look at also a catalog of all the emails that was sent that were sent. For text messages, well, actually, you know, there's one more email address, we, uh, one more email contact we need to cover here. Excuse me. We need to cover the financial account emails. This is where you can send a statement or an account notification email to uh, the people in your system. So you can go here, same four choices as before. So I can choose a student. OK, and then I have to choose what type of email do I want to send? Do I want to send an account update notification or a financial statement? The financial statement, the body of the email will be the actual financial statement from my music office. If you send the account update notification, the email will actually look like this, which is just a blanket statement saying your account has been updated. Please log in to take a look at it. Some people may not want their actual uh, financial statement sent over email. So we offer that choice and you have to make that choice before you send your emails. Once again, when you send these emails, they will show up under the financial emails in the, um, in the, in the previously sent email address area here under financial email, uh, financial email messages. They will not show up under the general, but they will show up under that in all email messages. In the text message area, you have the choice to send either to a single or multiple recipient just as the emails. The only difference is obviously how you construct your message. So for this case, I'm going to say multiple recipients. It'll show the amount of credits you have remaining. I will then go down and choose the students in which I want to send an email to or I want to send a text message to. So I choose a student. And then I'm able to type in up to 135 characters here inside of the text message. Then I hit send and that, that text message will be sent out through my music office. It is just that easy. And then if you need to purchase additional text credits, you can go here and once again, as cheap as two cents a piece, you can go and you can uh, buy uh, as many text credits as you need to be able to send those out as needed. I hope you've enjoyed this little overview of our communication system. If you have any questions at all, you can always email me at uh, webmaster at mymusicoffice.com or put in a help desk ticket. Once again, My Music Office starts at only $1.99 a year. 
If you do three years, you save $100. Five years, you save $200, which is basically a free year of My Music Office and is by far the most affordable choice. It is the easiest to use, and I guarantee the customer support is the absolute best. If you have any questions, contact me. Otherwise, have a great rest of your school year.